Good morning. We're gonna go do sunrise at the lake. Thank you, phone. Oh, sh oh, oh. No. Oh my god, I am not okay. And this is not fun anymore, and I don't know what to do. Mako, I am also crying. Oh my god, I literally don't know what to do. It is too... It is too early for this. I don't... Why would that happen? Oh my god. It's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. I hope it's a shitty sunrise. Wait, CJ just texted me. Is he awake? There's no way Charlie's not. There's no way Charlie's awake. <sighs> Hi, my love. Hey, baby. Um, since you're awake, um, my ca my car is dead. I don't know what to do. The van is dead. Yeah. That's what it does. Oh damn it! Hold on. Oh my god, I don't even know why this would happen. Of course, this would happen right now. Um, like I turn the key now and nothing happens. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I keep turning the key and it thinks my Bluetooth works. Do you have jumper cables? I should have like a jump box. I don't know if Charlie even got one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go call him a hundred times until he wakes up. Yeah, I texted him, he's not awake. He didn't answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what is this? Solo van life is sh shit. Solo van life is not fun. I don't wanna be alone, I don't like this. We are, oh my God. We are gonna learn something out of this, except it's 5.30 in the morning and we're not ready to learn anything yet. Charlie's not gonna be up for hours, which is fine, because I'm not going anywhere. Is this really how we wanna start the day? I don't even think that this van has ever died. I don't think, no, once, I gutted. Our house battery broke, so it sucked all the juice from the the car battery. No. House battery is like, you know, fine for what it is. 50%. It's about right since I run everything and don't check it. Hi, good morning to my cutie. Big stretch. Okay. I've, ow. Everyone say a prayer that my jet boil has one last burn, baby. I really do want coffee though, I want warm goodness right now. I just think that my jet boil is, we've been playing this game with, um, do I have one more in me and I can't find any more right now. I tried. Oh my God, I don't know. I wanna be positive right now. I want to, I wanna think that this is gonna burn for me because the car is dead and the universe knows that I need this. I'm also thinking that the universe has screwed me royally this morning and will continue to do so. No, positivity, I'm doing positivity today. Honestly, I'm way more upset when my groceries were messed up than the car being dead. Like, way more. All right, we have a fire. I believe in you. I know you can do this. Today's all I need. I've never been mad at my jet boil before. Until now. I'm sorry, boys. This is my formal apology that we're not going to the lake this morning. Opie, are you going to be okay? I'm sorry to do this to you. Miko? Miko? Are you gonna be okay? Okay. I said we're not going to the lake. Get out of the chum bucket. Okay, I'm a little bit upset now. When things don't work out how you think they're gonna work out, it's okay to be upset. I really thought we were gonna have a really nice morning with the boys by the lake, but we're gonna have a really nice time at the campsite 
learning how to use the car starter. I hope your day is off to a better start than this. <laughs> and if it's not, just cry. It's fine. Also, the sunrise kind of sucked, so I feel comforted. <laughs> I don't know why all of this stress is happening. It's testing me for a reason, that's for sure. But we're gonna start this car today and it's gonna feel like a crazy victory. I know it. And if we don't, uh, you'll find me back up here crying again. You know, whenever. It's way too cold out to go try and start the van now. Hi, Bubby. Thank you. Getting warm from sitting on the roof. And then we're gonna, we're gonna get into this. And we are gonna start this van today. <laughs> all my boys, almost all my boys. Okay, got our starter. We have to open the hood, okay. Got my number one helper over there with his tree. Oh my god, guys, the only thing I know how to do is open it. Okay. I am kind of nervous. This is what inside this little kit looks like. I don't know what anything is. The only thing I've, I know how to do so far is pop the hood. And I feel like that can be tricky to find. I'm a car girl now, you know? Pretty cool. Oh god, I hope it's charged. It's supposed to charge it. 100%. Nice, baby, I know that was you. Guys, I'm like starting to shake a little bit. Uh, this is, here's our cables. Okay. All right, this honestly sounds pretty simple. Ooh, this is the part I'm getting nervous about now. I think this is my battery. I know, you're all probably laughing. That should be my battery. It's so filthy, that just, that might be the red one. Where do I put them on the battery though? Um. I'm just gonna do it. I'm not gonna call Charlie. I'm just gonna plug it where I think it should go. Oh, oh, we're, 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 we have lights over here. We have lights. It is supposed to tell me ready, start ignition. Oh, and when that happens, oh my God, I gotta get the keys. Cause when that happens, it's like 90 seconds. Okay, wait a minute. This, okay. Obviously this is not on the battery correctly. Now I feel, there's no picture. There's no diagram, nothing. This is where I have it clipped onto. And like, that's obviously wrong. And find where the positive and negative leads are. This is my truck battery. This is the battery that works. So hmm. one red battery oh, he goes, opened something. My battery doesn't open. I'm worried that I just grounded out this whole thing because that's what he said. Try it again. <laughs> battery protected, unplug, start over. If I would have just read this, then that little flashy, no, that's not right. I have never felt so clueless before. I don't understand. I put it back where I first had it. We're just gonna, Try and just go for it. That's not it. That did nothing. Obviously that didn't work. A battery protected unplug start over means wrong connection. We must go ask our last remaining neighbor if he has cables. Wish me luck. Okay, he has jumper cables and he's gonna help me out. So this isn't a failure. It was a misstep. It's not a failure. Ready? Yep. Ready. Okay, we pushed me so we can reach for cables. This is a very interesting feeling to be completely at the mercy of 
strangers. Because I'm in a situation right now where there's nothing else I can do. That little starter thing I have does not work. I'm very lucky to have two people that are coming over to help and oh my gosh. It's very lucky to feel like this and also like kind of scary because like what if I was truly in the middle of nowhere. So let's get Duke running. Alright, give it a shot. Alright. Oh, yes! Yes! Amazing! Oh my god. Like, I cannot thank you enough. You're welcome. Wow. I leave this running for like 10 minutes or, or so, right? Or I leave it no, running for a little bit? Let it run as long as you can. Okay. Just let it charge it up. Okay. And... Let's go get another night, shall we? We're not going anywhere. I mean, luckily now we are driving. So that is, that's a thing. So another concern I didn't even share with you is that everything I own would be dead because Charlie is my... Take a moment for the irony of my life. As I'm literally telling you that everything I own would be dead and that was a concern of mine because Charlie charges everything, the camera battery died. Died. So at this point, Everything I own has died. And that's how I'm doing. We're about to do something crazy. I need to put the awning up. It's a little bit toasty now. I'm like out of breath. One, because I'm on a mountain. Two, because I can't fathom this level of just things going wrong. And I feel like I'm just constantly out of breath because of it. All I wanted to do is take the boys to the lake. Now, we will hopefully go to the lake tomorrow, and we're gonna see if the van starts in 10 minutes. So let's try and get this awning up. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. It's not so much putting it out that I'm worried about, taking it down, I've never taken it down by myself. Okay, I did it, and as I was doing it, I'm literally like, I don't know how I'm gonna put this away. I also have to make some modifications because of my height. Okay. Is it the most taut it's ever been? No. But we don't need it that tight, it's fine. And while I was up on the roof doing the, getting the awning open, a little kid on his bike and his, their family drove by. They're like, whoa, that looks like the Batmobile. I feel very cool. I feel very cool now. Are you happy, bud? Are you happy, Chunked? The two boys are where they belong, and it is crazy how much cooler this awning makes a van. I never in a million years would have thought that's true, but wow. Okay, now what? My bad, it's been way longer than 10 minutes. Let's see if the van starts, shall we? Let's see if it starts. Please start. That's a good, good sound. Okay, okay, Miko inside. Miko in. Oh, I'm not prepared for this. Oh my God. I need to get Honestly, I think I just need to shut. Oh my god, there's water pouring in. Okay. We can do this. Ah! Oh my god. Can we do this? Don't panic. I got a shower. It has stopped raining. And the awning can be put down kind of in record time, if you will. Yay. This is the moment where we need a big t-shirt and no pants. Ultimate comfort. Shall we have some spicy pickles to take the edge off? I know this looks like I made it. Like, oh my god, wow, you pickle. 
Uh, no, what I did was I didn't lock the fridge and then the Grillo's pickle container flew out of the fridge, cracked, and then spilled all over the floor. But it does look much cuter in this. Life. I think I need to just go back to laying down and back to reading. Because when I try and do shit, bad stuff happens. That's the moral of this story. Do nothing. It'll work great. I just want you guys to know that I really tried. And if you could just subscribe, it would help me on my journey of being a poor, helpless woman. No, I'm just kidding. I fucking rock. But like, also subscribe. Anyways.